Hi, my name is Eli. I'm the lead carpenter on the Madrona Passive House project. In conventional construction, slabs are a location where where houses lose a lot of a lot of heat. Um, so since this is a passive house, we are we're using five and a half inches of EPS, which will bring the R value up and um, give us a nice warm floor. We start with these one foot squares spaced approximately a half inch apart um, to allow any moisture that could ever get down be beneath, um, beneath the insulation to drain, to a floor drain. Um, on top of that, we'll have two layers of two and three quarter inch EPS with staggered seams to provide a total of six inches of insulation. Once that is installed, we'll, we'll be pouring a two and a half inch topping slab that will then get polished to be the finished floor. Where there are penetrations for plumbing and whatnot, we cut out for the pipes and then we'll come back and, um, and use spray foam to, f to fill and get a tight seal around them. On the roof, uh, we've done, done a similar thing. Um, we used EPS. Uh, uh, a solid layer of five inch EPS, and on top of that, um, a tapered um, EPS to create the slope for drainage on the roof. So after we install the next layer of EPS, uh, that will bring us to the bottom of this row of blocking. Uh, this blocking was installed to keep the two and a half inch topping slab from going, uh, going into the wall cavity. Um, we'll also be installing a, uh, an expansion joint all around the perimeter and the interior walls t so that the uh, concrete contractor can has something to screech to to get a nice level slab.